All eyes on England, where King Charles' historic coronation is going to take place this Saturday. And while Prince Harry will be there to see his father crowned, don't expect him to stick around long. Harry's reportedly planning to stay just two hours before jetting back to the U.S. for the birthday of his son, Archie, who turns four that very same day. Joining us now, host of Piers Morgan Uncensored on Fox Nation, Piers Morgan. Hey, Piers. Good morning, and Ainsley, can I just tell you, this country is waiting for your arrival. Never mind the king. <laughs> it's all about the big royal event, Ainsley. We You're need sweet. you. Thank you, Martha, and I will be coming over shortly. I'm going to work here till <laughs> Thursday, and I'll leave on Thursday afternoons. I will see you shortly, but we better keep our eyes open. If we blink, we might miss Harry. Well, I'll be blinking then. Uh, if I'll go further <laughs> than that. I, I will quite happily break off from Fox's coverage to drive the little rat all the way back to the airport where he should have stayed. <laughs> because the brass neck of him rocking up at this coronation after all the damage he's done to the royal family and his father and the institution of the monarchy, it is breathtaking. So I think you can safely describe the mood on the ground here in, in London, certainly, and probably the wider UK, as extremely frosty. And it's actually quite a nice day out there. So the frost is not coming from the weather. I know you've been doing your research and reading all these articles. Uh, Meghan's family's back in the press again because um, they're saying they're not going anywhere. Her stepbrother's been interviewed and her uh, stepsister's been interviewed and her dad's making, uh, making headlines as well. What do you think about that? Look, it's, a, it's an ongoing family tragedy, isn't it? But at the centre of it is that Meghan Markle, who preaches about compassion every two minutes when she's making money from compassion, has shown absolutely zero compassion to her father or any of her family. So she's managed to disown all of them, apart from, I think, her mother. And she's also wrestled Harry away from all his, of his family. It's a pretty extraordinary state of affairs. If Shakespeare came up with this, we'd all think it was preposterous. But the, uh, the bottom line is her father had a massive stroke He's been severely incapacitated. He's clearly at the end of his life. He's living 70 miles away from, from their home in, in California. They could get there in one hour in a taxi. And Harry has never met this man. He's never met this father of his wife, which I find just extraordinary. And you would think that people who set up a whole foundation called Archiewell, which on its front page, its home page, extols the virtues of compassion, might find it, might find it somewhere in all the money that's swilling around them, might find enough space to find a little bit of heart and go and see this poor man before he dies. Mm. Piers, uh, tell us about the preparation there on the ground. I saw that they were having rehearsals. I know they're spending a lot of money on security. Yeah, I actually have a good friend in the British Army who is one of the two people running the whole thing. And I saw an interview with him this morning, actually, in which he said to put the scale of all this into proper perspective, it will be twice as big, the procession, as the one for the Queen's funeral and at least twice as big as the one for the, the, the uh, Jubilee celebrations that we were obviously there for. So when you see the spectacle that's being laid on on Saturday, it will be like nothing the world has seen, actually, since Charles's mother's coronation back mm -hmm. in the mid-50s. It's going to be a spectacular thing with more military than I think we've ever had assembled for anything since 1953. So it's going to be a remarkable thing. I, I think, you know, fever's beginning to build here. Uh, obviously, Charles has to follow his mother, who was the greatest of all monarchs, the longest reigning of all monarchs. Not an easy gig to follow, obviously. But he's also had the most time to prepare to be king of any monarch in history. And I think he's already showing he's got a very sure foot when it comes to, uh, to being our head of state. And I think the, the, the public are on his side. And, of course, for his queen, Camilla, who will actually be crowned at the same time. So we're going to have a unique situation in my lifetime and anyone's lifetime of two people being crowned at the same time. Well, Pierce, I can't wait to see you just a few more days. Thank you so much. It's going to be great. It will be Absolutely. great. Well, you can watch Fox News. The special coverage of King Charles III's coronation on Saturday will be on on Eastern Time here on the East Coast from 5 a.m. until 10 a.m. You can watch Piers Morgan's Uncensored on Fox Nation weekdays at 4.30 p.m. Thanks again, Piers. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.